ain't picking up. I ain't sorry. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Nye. Welcome back to our channel. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do that below. And today's story time is about how I caught my best friend's boyfriend cheating on her. Okay, so let me just get into the story. So this is back in high school, many, 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 many years ago in a land far, far away. So basically we were in ninth grade and at the time me and my best friend, we had been best friends for like seven or eight years. So we had a good relationship. We talked on the phone every single day. As a matter of fact, I used to get in trouble. That's how much I talked to this girl. That literally my dad, who else parents did this? My dad would pick up the other phone and the other one would be like, Naima, Nah, I need you to get off this phone. So literally, that's how much we talked on the phone. So we were like this, y'all. We was like super close. We kind of sort of looked alike, so everybody thought we were sisters. We just had a really, really good relationship. So anyway, ninth grade, she gets her first boyfriend. And everybody know how girls act when they get their very first boyfriend. So she's like head over heels in love. First of all, he was older than us by like two years. And so she's just like head over heels. Like you can't tell her nothing. So now I never see her. We never talk on the phone. We don't hang out on the weekends. Like everything is changing. I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? Like why is she so wrapped up into this guy? So anyway, she was like totally for sure pushing me to the side, giving me the cold shoulder. But as a best friend, I'm trying to be supportive. I'm just trying to, you know, hang out on the sidelines and still be there for her because I don't want her to feel like I'm hating or anything like that because I wasn't. So basically, long story short, um, they have been together for maybe about four or five months. And we went to two separate schools. So we used to take those pictures in high school. So you know how everybody did that? It's like, it's the weekend, you get you a new fit, you looking fly. You go to the mall with your homegirl or by yourself or with your boyfriend or whatever. And you guys take some cute little pictures and you pass them out. That's what we did, y'all. Before Facebook and MySpace and Instagram and Twitter, that's what we did. We did it the old school way. You literally went and took a picture and passed them out to who you wanted to pass them out to. And then you wrote a cute little message on the back if it was like your crush or your boo or just one of your really close friends. So that's what we did. We went and took some pictures. They came out cute or whatever. And so we um, were passing the pictures out at school. And so I passed the picture out to this girl who was like, she wasn't really a friend. She was like an associate. So I passed the picture out to her. And so she looked at the picture. I give it to her at lunch. She looked at the picture. She turned it over. She looked at it again. She was like, hmm. I'm like, What's all that for? What you doing all that for? I'm like, you don't like the picture? You don't think it's cute? We don't look cute? You don't like my outfit? And she was like, no, it, it's cool. It's cool. So I just brushed it off. Like, I didn't think too much about it. So after school, she comes up to me and she's like, who's this girl? We just gonna call her Ashley. So she's like, who's this girl? I'm like, oh, that's my best friend, Ashley. And she's like, how well do you know her? I'm like, I just told you, it's my best friend. So I know her very well. Why? What's up? She was like, well, this looks like my boyfriend's ex-girlfriend. And he been acting weird lately, like, he ain't been really answering my phone calls, he ain't really been trying to come over to the house and kick it with me, so I kind of have a hunch that maybe he's talking to his ex-girlfriend. So, I kind of want to know if they're still together. So, I'm like, okay, what's your boyfriend's name? We're just going to call him Greg. So, she's like, Greg, I'm like, hmm, immediately light bulbs start going off, I'm like, they're together, they're together, they're together. But of course, I don't wanna tell her that because I don't really know the whole story. So that's that type of information that you gotta be like, okay, stay calm, keep a calm face, go back to your friend and let her know what's going on. And that's exactly what I did. I didn't say anything, I was like, okay, well, you know, let me talk to her. She's like, well, does that sound familiar? Does that name sound familiar? I'm like, um, it sounds a little familiar. I'm like, let me get back at you. So we wasn't even close to the point where I had this girl's number. So we exchanged phone numbers and I'm like, I'ma holler at you a little later. So of course, I couldn't wait to get home. This is ninth grade, y'all. I didn't have no cell phone. So I'm like itching to get home, itching to get home. I took the um, the school bus, Ooh, excuse me, back and forth into school. So y'all, I am like on that bus with anxiety. Like my hands are sweaty, my palms are sweaty. I'm like racing to get to the house. I get home and my sister is on the phone. I'm like, girl, you got to go. You got to hang up that phone call, boo-boo, because I need to call my best friend and give her the 411. So I got her off the phone, I call her. I'm like, girl, Ashley. Um, I need you to check your boo because I think he cheating on you and she's like what he would never cheat on me He loves me. He wouldn't do that. You just being a hater da -da 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 -da. Like she went in on me y'all and I'm sitting on the phone like this 
oh my god this dude then changed her whole thinking like what the heck and so i'm like um okay well this girl that i go to school with actually just told me that the um that her boyfriend's name is greg and he goes to such and such school now ain't your boyfriend named greg and she like yeah it is but like i said he would never cheat on me and i knew that you was jealous from the beginning because you was acting funny and you was all doing this and i'm like no she didn't just call me jealous like we like sisters damn near like sisters how the heck she gonna sit up here and call me jealous so i'm really of course feeling some type of way so i'm like okay you know what i'm gonna have to get you proof because you you ain't trying to hear me out so i called the girl from school i'm like yo that's her man that's my best friend's boyfriend and she's like they together still i'm like girl they together still so she's like okay um hmm how can we get this nigga caught up she was like because i've been asking him is he seeing somebody else because he's been acting funny but of course he's been telling me no i'm like well sh let me know i'm willing to get him caught up whatever it takes because now my best friend ain't talking to me she think i'm jealous she think i'm making the whole story up so she's like okay well you know what tomorrow is my birthday and i'm having a birthday dinner she was like so of course he will be there she was like so why don't you show up you know take a picture of us together i'm like oh girl i like the way you think so that's what i did i showed up to the restaurant i had me a little camera and i was literally on the side y'all like behind like Okay, you know how restaurants, they be having those big old pillars. So I'm literally behind a pillar, like really taking pictures because I don't want him to see me because I had met him before. So I don't want him to be like, what you doing here? And also, I didn't want him to give her a heads up. So I'm like, let me get a picture of them two together. And then that way she will not be able to deny that he's cheating on her. Like she will see it in the flesh, y'all. She will see this picture and then I'm gonna have my best friend back. That's the way I'm thinking. So mind you, I'm 14 years old. So of course I had to sit up here and catch the bus to the this restaurant mom's like where are you going what you do i'm like oh it's my friend's um birthday dinner all this other stuff just to get there because i'm trying to prove to my best friend that you date a low down no good dirty dog so that's what i did i went through a mission for this y'all got me a little camera spent my allowance on those little cameras those little disposable cameras and i'm sitting there really taking pictures right so i got like one good picture but because i was shaking and so nervous the picture really didn't come out that good so i'm like you can still tell it's him and i'm like she should be able to tell because this is her man so she should be able to tell so of course i go to cvs i get the camera developed i go through all of this by this time it's the weekend so I call my best friend up. I'm like, okay, you still don't believe me? She's like, I still don't believe you. I'm still not feeling you. I'm like, girl, he was just at this girl's birthday dinner. How the heck you not going to believe me? I saw him there. They were kissing. They were holding hands, all this other stuff. So I tell her I got proof. So she's like, no, you don't. Ain't no way you got proof. So I'm like, let's meet up. Let's kick it. Let's hang out. I haven't seen her in forever because she always with her boyfriend. So she's like, okay, fine, whatever. So reluctantly, we meet up. I show her the picture and she's like, that ain't him. That ain't my man. I'm like, yes, it is. She's like, first of all, it's a blurry, shaky picture and that's not my man. I'm like, yes, it is. Can't you tell? This is Greg. It's Greg. It's Greg. She's like, no, it's not. So I'm like, oh my God, you are not serious. She's like, yeah, you just jealous. You ain't really my friend like that. We don't have a true friendship. Like running me through the mud. So of course my feelings get hurt. I get on the defensive. I'm like, look, I've been here for you since day one. I've been here for you since all, through all your drama. I'm not a hater. I'm not spiteful. I wouldn't do none of this. I would not make this up. I went through all of this trouble to prove to you that he was cheating on you, girl. And now you want to sit up here and make it seem like I'm coming for you. Like I'm coming for your relationship. And she was like, yeah, you are. Cause you jealous. And you know what? as a matter of fact greg told me that i should watch out for my friends see i need to listen to my man more so i'm like oh, okay so i guess we ain't friends no more i guess not and she walked away and i was like okay so of course i'm all sad my feelings are i'm like dang i didn't lost my best friend like that's really the only person at that time in my life that really got me and really understood me so i'm going through a mini depression i'm feeling some type of way i can't believe this but 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 not hold on let me i'm gonna have to cut that out but literally y'all like a month later when i'm finally getting over it i'm getting closer to my other friends so i'm not tripping as much i get a phone call from guess who ashley and she's like hey boo how you doing just want to check on you see how you been i'm like i'm acting like i don't want to talk to her but so i'm like yes i got my best friend back but on the phone i'm like i'm all right i'm good up with you so she's like well you know what i was just calling to apologize because greg is a dog i'm like oh 
you see he a dog. You didn't finally realize it. And she's like, yeah, you know, he's a dog. He was cheating on me. He had two other girlfriends. And, you know, I realized that you was just trying to look out for me. I'm like, <laughs> that's exactly what I was trying to do. So she finally forgave me and she broke up with him. Well, I don't know what she was forgiving me for. But we finally, you know, fixed our friendship and became friends again. And that was it. We had a happy ending. But yes, I couldn't believe I caught my best friend's boyfriend cheating on him. I mean, cheating on her. Y'all know what I meant. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And I will be back for more story times. Peace out, YouTube.